It has been reported that the Pelicans have made Drew Holiday available in trade talks. With New Orleans struggling without Zion Williamson, it looks like they're going to tank and trade away most of their vets for assets. That includes Holiday, so let's go over four trade destinations for Drew. First up, I have Holiday to the Lakers for Danny Green, Demarcus Cousins, Kyle Kuzma, Taylor Horton Tucker, and a future first round pick. This would probably be the least likely trade on this list, but it's certainly possible and something that I would love to see. For the Lakers, they would be doing this trade to make the best defensive team in the NBA by a long shot. A starting lineup of Holiday, Bradley, LeBron, Davis, and McGee has no weak points on D, and guys are going to have a lot of problems scoring against this unit. Also, Holiday does a lot for the Lakers offense, as will provide LA with another playmaker in their starting lineup. This takes a lot of pressure off of LeBron, and I think Holiday would thrive as an off-ball or secondary playmaker. Drew is also familiar playing with guys like Rondo and Davis with the Pelicans, and the chemistry should definitely be there already with these guys. The Pelicans would do this trade to get some nice assets in Kyle Kuzma who may thrive in a bigger role, and getting a future first round pick that will likely be way down the road, given that the Lakers have already traded most of their first round picks could be very valuable as well. The Pelicans could also trade Danny Green to a contender in another trade for a first round pick, and this will be a very nice haul for Drew Holiday. Next up, I have Holiday to the Nuggets for Gary Harris, Malik Beasley, Juan Hernan Gomez, and a future first round pick. This will be a very reasonable trade for both sides, and we'll start off from the Nuggets perspective. They will be getting a very good scorer and playmaker to help their surprisingly middling offense this season, and Holiday should help bolster their defense as well. A starting backcourt of Murray and Holiday would be great, and it would have a great blend of scoring, playmaking, and defense. Also, I think Holiday would thrive playing off of Jokic, as Drew is a good cutter and can get easy buckets, playing next to the Nuggets big man. The Pelicans will do this trade to get a solid wing in Harris, and keep in mind he's still only 25 years old. He could fit the Pelicans rebuilding timeline, or he could be traded to a contender for assets as well. Beasley could become a legit 15 to 20 point per game scorer with a bigger opportunity, and I think he would thrive with the Pelicans. In my opinion, this would be a pretty fair deal for both sides, and this is one of the most likely trades that may happen if Holiday is in fact traded by the trade deadline. 43rd trade destination, I have Drew Holiday to the Miami Heat for Justice Winslow, Kendrick Nunn, Dion Waiters, and a second round pick. This will be a move if the Heat go all in, and it could make them arguably the second most dangerous team in the East. A starting lineup of Holiday, Butler, Robinson, Leonard, and Adebayo has a great combination of shooting and defense, and guys like Drogic and Hero off the bench would help give an even bigger scoring punch for the Heat. A defensive backcourt of Holiday and Butler would shut down opposing perimeter players, and on offense, I think these two would play very well off each other. Of course, it would hurt to give up on Kendrick Nunn so quickly, but Holiday would provide them with a big upgrade if they are trying to win now. For the Pelicans, the biggest asset in this trade would be getting a potential 20 point per game score in Nunn, who is still only 24 years old. He'll fit their timeline, and he can become a big part of the young core. Justice Winslow is also a very good wing who can play the point, and he could potentially start at point guard if the Pelicans want to go big. This would be a very interesting trade for both sides, and we'll see if this ends up happening. So for the final trade, I have Holiday to the Bucks for Eric Bledsoe, Dante DiVincenzo, DJ Wilson, and a future first round pick. This will be an interesting trade for both sides, and it's pretty fair as well. The Bucks are already one of the best teams in the NBA, but upgrading from Bledsoe to Holiday could make them even better. Bledsoe has played very well in the regular season throughout his career, but he seems to always struggle to show up in the playoffs. Holiday will provide the Pelicans with a more consistent player compared to Bledsoe, and I think Drew would thrive playing off-ball next to Giannis. The Pelicans would do this trade to get Bledsoe, who they can then flip to a contender for a first-round pick, and also getting DiVincenzo and Wilson gives them promising young players to further develop. Getting a future first-round pick will also help their rebuild, and I think this will be a pretty fair deal for both sides. So that's a wrap, thank you all for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball or business, 
just drop a comment down below on my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys there. Also drop a comment down below on what was your favorite trade from this video or if you have any other trade ideas for Drew Holiday let me know as I do it all comments I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say there. So with all that being said once again thank you all for watching and hopefully I will see you in our next video. Peace.